These are the blue skies we have been longing for for the past three weeks. It's a gorgeous day. It's a beautiful day, but it's a bit bloody cold. Today's video is mainly about trying this out for the first time. It's a GoPro camera clamp that has been made by a friend of mine and hopefully it'll still be attached to the aircraft when we get back from the flight. Now as you can see the camera is unfortunately angled to one side for the duration of the flight. That is due to the cambered wing of the Jodel. So not much I could do about it today. Uh, however, um, for this test flight, I did not use my GoPro Hero 7 black camera. I used a cheap imitation camera instead, in case the thing dropped off mid-flight. Um, when I use the GoPro next time, it has software which, of course, will automatically write the image and correct any vibration and uh, fluctuation. So hopefully, for the next flight, this will not be a problem. And of course, with the GoPro, the quality will be so much better. Uh, this image is a bit shaky and uh, not fantastic, but the idea of today's flight was to test the uh, clamp more than anything else and make sure it was uh, not going to change the um, behavior of the aircraft. And also to make sure that the camera was going to be firmly attached and wouldn't fall off.
At this point in the flight, I'm wondering if the camera is still attached. So this is the ingenious GoPro clamp that was made by Visha. As you can see, all I did was I added a, a pad here, a felt pad, self-adhesive felt pad, to prevent the aluminium from touching the fabric, because that was the big worry I had. Um, and there's a safety pin here, which prevents it from unscrewing. It's ingenious and it's still working and it's still there after the flight. As I was on finals coming into land, there was another aircraft just behind me and it was a very unusual one that I'd never seen before. So once I'd parked up and put the aircraft back in the hangar, I went and had a look. Tell me what this aeroplane is. It's a Cessna 337 push pull and it's from uh, constructed 1977 with uh, two Continental motors, 210 horsepower each. Cruise speed of 160 knots and an endurance of uh, seven hours. This one's a, a, a very similar um, age to your 150. Yeah.